Hello. So today is going to be a pretty simple VOD review. So this is a Wandering Trainer game. And um, the recording started like a little bit after neutral. So um, essentially, if you scout out, you can look around. There's a couple of people with Story Weaver, a couple of people with Dragon Lord, a couple of people with Duelist. Uh, so lines are pretty contested. It doesn't, the dummy I got isn't really like a reroll spot kind of dummy. Um, it's, it's feels like a very go nine kind of dummy. So I got a story weaver emblem and dragon lord emblem and bruiser. So I want to probably just play vertical story weaver from here. Uh, mind you, this VOD was a little bit, uh, this was before the blue KL buffs, this VOD in particular, but I still thought I would post it because I... Uh, it was a fun and exciting game that I just never got around to posting before. So I've just been sitting on this VOD. Um, basically, it gets kind of nutty because it's uh, Wandering Trainers. I forget, is it loot subscription? Like, what what happened this game? Because things got kind of nutty. And I don't... I think uh, I think it was just a, ne a normal spat draw. Anyways. Um, it's silver... Uh, I decided to just take branching out because I already have a story weaver plus one and in my head I'm thinking like what if I had a story weaver plus two? Uh, but either way um, Of these options, it's like I either take lunch money because I'm strong early and I can get really good econ rolling The sharing is carrying I don't know how good it is the one gold But one gold is one gold, but I just decide to take branching out because in my head I'm like the high roll is like really good Because there's a lot of things you can fit in really nicely with um, the story weaver uh, but anyways, uh, my, my, my dummy is very good because everything fits in really nicely, uh, because story weaver, I have story weaver, I have bruiser, so, uh, story weaver is, there's the riven early, which you can hit, which will give you, uh, the bruiser synergy until you get galio, um, and dragon lords also fit in really nicely with story weaver because you can just play like a late game Lee Sin or a late game Rakan. Um, for altruist or duelist or uh, just in general or both of them too as well um, I think in this spot though um, I already started the game I think I started the game with uh, a Janna 2 already or I have at least one Janna so I'm thinking of angling towards the uh, the old the older Janna reroll line as well that is also a viable option if I natural bunch of Jannas so I look at my emblem, I get an Ink Shadow emblem. Now in the pa uh, like in today's meta, I would definitely keep Ink Shadow emblem. And what you can do is from this spot, it's like an incredible Kaisa spot. Um, but back then, um, this was like before the, they did like a small buff to Kaisa, but Kaisa was still strong. Um, I just didn't really like look at it in the same way as I would nowadays. So just note, if this was a game done in today's meta, this would definitely be a Kaisa spot because even the Ink Shadow emblem. That's what I was saying, it's really hard to miss on branching out with the Story Weaver base because like almost all the emblems you can kind of just fit in. And you have a Reforger so you have like two shots at just like swapping out something. Right? Because if you think about the uh, the Kaisa line, you could fit in Ink Shadow, you can fit in Umbral, you can fit in Dryad uh, sometimes. Like there, there's many things you, right? Any of the other spats that are already there like Story Weaver, Dragon Lord, or Bruiser, those are all good as well. Uh, but looking at this spot, it would definitely be a Kaisa game if uh, uncontested on Kaisa. Now, I think I end up eventually reforging the Ink Shadow emblem just because uh, I'm just like not thinking about that line, right? And that's a part of improving the game. It's stuff like this where you uh, get better. Anyways, I switched to an Invoker. Invoker is also good, right? It's not as good as Ink Shadow and just playing towards Kaisa, but it's definitely towards this because Ink Shadow basically gives you Ink Shadow for free. A lot of the time you have to decide between playing Ink Shadow and playing Bruiser, like playing for Bruiser um, on level 8 because um, with Kaisa, um, th that board in particular is hard to fit in. Uh, I'll have a Kaisa game. I haven't had a good chance to play a Kaisa game. All the times I, I play Kaisa, somebody pivots into it and I go like 5th, so I haven't been posting them. Uh, but basically, if you haven't seen the Kaisa line, the idea is that you just play like, kind of like in PvE, the line that was in PvE where you play 4 Trickshot, 4 Bruiser, except now it kind of like works. Um, I think just like the small changes to Ink Shadow and buffing the, uh, the trade and buffing the units and all of that eventually now made Kaisa like probably the only really good 4 cost that exists in the current meta. But yeah, um, I think 
if I get this Janna, I think I just commit to a Janna reroll game. Now, I'll probably post separate videos. Um, I'm kind of sad because I, I the Janna reroll line has kind of changed a little bit from the version that I'm playing in this video. I think I'll also post probably later this week or on the weekend, I'll post another Janna reroll video. Janna reroll, I think, is my favorite line. Um, Janna reroll feels like a very fair reroll. I don't know how to describe it. There's some rerolls that are clearly gonna get nerfed. If they don't get nerfed, I think like it's just unfun, and I, I don't. That's that's a part of the reason why I don't play as much anymore, um, or haven't played that much recently. Um, but uh, Janna reroll, it's like a very reroll line, right? And it's very flexible. Uh, what I mean by that is that it, it kind of like you spike early, uh, it falls off really late game. You have high roll potential with it, right? You can play towards a lot of 4 costs and a lot of 5 costs that fit in very nicely and actually spike your board really hard, not just by being 4 costs, but by synergizing with everything really well. Um, but you can't like force it, right? That's the thing, like Janna 2 isn't that stable on stage 4. And a lot of your board isn't that stable on stage 4. So you really have to play it from like a high tempo position where like you either have a lot of Janas so that you can hit the Janna 3 for free or you have uh, or the rest of your lobby is kind of weak and you hit a lot of natural upgrades so then you can like use it to tempo to 9 and if you hit the Janna you hit the Janna if you don't you're playing around the legendaries and you're playing like a fast 9 board right um it's not like uh you know you're stable with like one or two Yones like that line or with the Senna line you're stable with like you know you send it on uh, you send it on a 3-2 or 3-1 and you upgrade your units and you're super stable until like mid to late game until you hit your three stars etc it's not like um a lot of those like really really top tier reroll lines um but it, it feels like it feels like a balance in a fair way right and a lot of times you end up getting like fourth or third right if you don't like gig or high roll so i think it's definitely very fun so this other guy also took branching out and he got a story weaver plus one so i think he's two story weaver emblems if i'm not mistaken i might be wrong but we'll see after but anyways i'm kind of considering going towards the janna line so also with the janna line so i'll speak a little bit about it um maybe i can like make a, a thing while we wait over neutrals team planner I can probably show you like generally what the Janna line kind of looks like or two of them. So Zyra, Janna, Riven, Nico, Zoe, and then Soraka. I should have done this before. My bad. Sorry. Oh, let's go back to the VOD. Um. All right. So neutrals. I get some items. I just. I'm just baiting if I make red buff or if I make uh, like Gwinsu, uh, Runan, something like that. Janna's really good because Janna can take like so many items, right? Like most of her items are not like minus delta or not plus delta, uh, because she works two ways, right? She can work really well as a carry and she can work really well as a support, right? Her ability, basically, when she casts, she grants a shield, as well as she does, like, explosive damage to the enemies. So you can build her around doing explosive damage and one-shotting, so you can go, like, Runan's JG, or, like, Archangel's, or, like, Giga, really, like, high, uh, high AP build. Or you can make her, like, a multi-casting attack speed build, so that she's always, so your units have, like, constant uptime on shield, right? So that your front line basically just lives a really long time, and it kind of stalls out the game. So that's like the Gwinsu build, basically. You're basically constantly casting, constantly granting shields, and then um, eventually uh, just getting getting to a point where you scaled up your unit by a lot. Uh, the old build used to always be like Gwinsu uh, Archangels, and that's like the best of both worlds because you stall, and then the Gwinsu and the Archangels both scale, so then you're one-shotting as well as granting a lot of shields. I think that has fallen off a little bit. It's better just to build like straight AP. Um, let's just see the augment here. So best friends I don't like that much because sometimes it's hard to position around it. Um, I sh best friends was probably good here. Uh, the reason I usually don't take best friends is because with the, uh, the sivir it's hard to like position. But I'm probably going to drop the sivir anyways. Uh, and play towards, uh, just everything else. So here I'm just building like attack speed kale. 
Uh, while this match goes on, I would like to show you. So this is the uh, the new Janna reroll build. So basically what you're doing is you're putting in Soraka, Janna, Zyra, Zoe for Altruist. And you're also very flexible, right? You can play Janna carry. Uh, you can play Zyra carry. You can play Zoe carry. But usually you're itemizing. You, like This is the same version like uh, as the Zoe reroll build. Where you're basically just playing... Oh, sorry, I'll roll up with the things. Where you're basically playing uh, Zoe and this to try and, like, how do I phrase it? You can, like, reroll Zoe here. You can reroll Janna here. You can reroll Zyra here, right? You can also reroll Soraka here. But the idea is that you can um, you can change what units you're playing to uh, better synergize, right? And then also you put in, uh, I think I only have one, two, three, four, five, six. You also have Diana for frontline. That's what I'm missing. D, 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 Diana. Right? Uh, what I'm saying is, like, if you find that you hit a lot of Janus, you can go for Janna. If you don't hit Janus, you hit more Zoe's, and you can go for Zoe. And you kind of roll on 7 for Zoe, or you roll on 6 to get a bunch of Janna's. And, or you can go for all of them 3-star and just stay on level 7. And uh, get, like, even your frontline uh, front situated for a carry. This is the new version that is very flexible, right? So you can basically just swap your items. You just build towards, like, AP, like, Giga AP items. Like, Runan's, uh, Shoujin, and... Maybe like JG or Nashers. And then you just swap between whoever you hit most of. And then you can use it to tempo. If you hit Zyra, Zyra's not the best of the carries, but you can use it to tempo to nine if you hit a lot of Zyra's early. And then you can kind of switch. So hopefully that makes sense. That's like the new Janna board. The one that I'm going to play this game, I believe, is the old one where you play more Dragon Lords. So you play like Annie, Galio, and Lee Sin, right? And then you don't play Nico right so you still have like the so in this version typically what you're rolling for is you're rolling for janna 3 zyra 3 uh but this one's pretty much your only carry could be janna for most of the time but you could tempo this board really naturally into nine because you're basically just playing around vertical dragon lords and you have like a lot more front line to play with this was the old version that's a lot like harder to play so this one's like very specific to spots and this is the one that i will probably be playing this game because it was the one that i liked the most and now that they buffed like ap kale and all of that the other line is a little bit better all right so that took one or two rounds uh we'll check back on my board on carousel i'm just collecting janna's there's a janna on carousel nobody seems to want janna so i'm kind of playing towards janna uh i would also like to i have a good uh Irelia items, so I would like to eventually hit Irelia. The reason um, this works really well in this version is because um, I have a Story Weaver plus one and a Dragon Lord plus one, so I can play five Dragon Lord, five Story Weaver on level nine, basically. Right, so that's how I cap out my board. I'll basically play uh, one extra uh, Story Weaver uh, with Irelia, and then I will have five Story Weaver. And then I will have like Galio. I'll, I'll basically be playing the version that I just showed, right, right here. Except on level nine, I'll have Irelia, and that's pretty much it. And then I'll have like five Story Weaver as well. And then I can swap out Annie for like Rakan probably, because I have a uh, the other thing. I have the uh, Invoker, the Invoker emblem. I hope that was somewhat informative. When I do the VOD reviews, I hope I so try to sometimes post those things or show the stats or like little boards and stuff like that it, to help explain it. If you don't like them or if you like them, please let me know or, you know, in a kind way so that I don't ban you for being like an asshole. But just like be like, you know, yeah, that was informative. Or actually, I don't like it when you tab out of the game. I'd rather just see the game from start to finish without the extra visuals, right? Like something like, you know, just. Know, if, if you guys care uh, the rest of this game kind of goes just according to that plan so I'm playing a Garen now for five story weaver but I would like to switch the Garen for a Galio eventually I have the Zyra on the board but uh, I probably want to switch out everything I'm just looking looking around that guy's going like Morgana carry uh, I do have six Janna's, so I don't really care about rolling on six this game, right? I don't have Janna items, which is the problem, but I'm, I am holding on to this rod. So I will eventually switch it. I ended up making red buff early, right? My item economy, if I wanted to play around Janna, would have been really good if instead of red buff, I made Morello 
like I could have taken the two bows. I could have made like Morello. Um, how do I phrase it? I have two bows, two belts, and a rod, right? I could have made Morello Nashers. I could have made uh, like Gwinsu Nashers. I could have made like Gwinsu Morello, right? Like there were item combinations there that would have worked better for Janna. But I think uh, I just slammed early for anti heal and I had the IE, so I just slammed that. So I have, so I kind of have to go nine here. Uh, it says real. Oh, Yorick showed up, so rerolls cost one less. So I might just try and hit Janna right now. But I'll probably, yeah, I'll just roll on seven odds. The reason I want to roll on seven odds is because you have a lot higher of a chance of hitting the uh, the four costs. And with the board that I showed you guys on the uh, on the team planner, uh, this this comp used a lot of those four costs really well, right? The Lee Sin, the Annie. Uh, the Galio, right? It's really easy to insert those, and they spike the board a lot better because all of them are frontline units, right? A lot of the, a lot of the biggest problem with reroll comps is the lack of frontline, right? A lot of times, like even if you're playing like something like Arcanist reroll or anything, like all these reroll comps that you end up trying to play, uh, a lot of the time, the biggest problem you have is hitting the. Uh... Oh wait, I leveled to eight. Oh, I'm just full 9. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. I, I just decided... Oh, yeah, yeah, because of my items. So I ended up not going Janna reroll. I think, I think I just didn't get enough items in my head. I kind of messed up my items early. So now I'm just using my 1 gold rerolls on 8 instead to try and hit, like, a Galio. Hit a Galio, hit a Lee Sin or something. Yeah, I'm just dedicated to full fast 9-ing from here. Oh, I know what happened. This guy got Enter the Dragon. So I was like, I just want to go 9 instead of sitting on this Janna because I don't have good items for it. Yeah, yeah. So I just adapted mid-game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I just made full Irelia items. And I'm like, this guy's going to be re-rolling Janna. Like, as you can see, he's holding a bunch of the units. So I'm just going to level up and play towards Irelia carry. And uh, just play like Vertical Story Weaver with the plus Janna. If I just have a Janna 3, I'll just, I'll just put the Janna 3. Yeah, 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 that makes sense now, actually. Yeah, yeah, I was wondering why I didn't put the Gwinsu on the Janna, but I guess I just didn't... I, I messed up my items early, and then I just didn't uh, have enough... Uh... Ooh, I hit Enter the Dragon. Do I take that? I wonder if I take it. Ooh, I didn't really hit anything else. Yeah, so I take it as well. It gives you a Janna, so now I'm one-off Janna 3 with no items. That's kind of funny. Kind of funny, kind of silly. Uh, I can just make, yeah, I should just make a Rabadons for Jan. I should just dual carry at this point. Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. I'll just itemize the Jan later. This is such a roundabout way of playing the game. That's so funny. This is a silly game. But yeah, it's a Story Weaver emblem. I got that emblem. A Zoe. So I can play, I could just play like Vertical Story Weaver as well on level 8 or 9 or whatever. So Ghostly, Ghostly, against a Ghostly, so I'll probably lose. I am also 100 streak, I've just been so strong. Because of my Temple Slams early with the Sivir. Which was pretty good. I probably would be streaking harder if I had, uh, like you can't really streak harder, but I probably would have um, been in a little bit of a better spot if I just like rolled for the Janna 3. And I had items on Janna 3, but that's okay. So I'm in a great spot to go 9 here. I think, like, this is one of the problems with the patch. It's like, th this is why I really like the Janna reroll line. Like, if you just natural a bunch of Jannas and you have a Story Weaver opener, it's so much fun. Because as you can see here, I didn't really roll for Janna. Uh, the Janna 2 did a lot of damage into the early game, and I was super stable for most of the game. Obviously, I had this spat. I had the extra spats. Like, the Story Weaver Dragon Lord spats are really strong. Um, and this Kale is just like my main carry kind of. But I feel like if you don't have like a good opener like this, um, you can neither play Janna nor can you fast 9. But I think when you have Janna, you have the option of doing either, right? So in this case, I saw that there was somebody else contesting the reroll and I was too scared. I just didn't want the heat. So I, I was able to just convert my strategy into a fast 9. And I'm still really strong because I was just 100 streaking the whole game. Obviously, this stage now is where I'm going to fall off and I'll take a lot of losses. But I should still have enough HP to make it reliably to 9. Right? Which is which is the important part. 
And then when I'm level 9, I can play either 7 Story Weaver or I can play 5 Story Weaver, 5 Dragon. I think I can fit in 5 Story Weaver, 5 Dragon Lord. I might be wrong about that. Rakan, Lee Sin. Yeah, yeah, you can fit in 5 Story Weaver, 5 Dragon Lord, which is way stronger than just playing 7 Story Weaver. Okay. One thing I'm confused about this game is somebody that I'm playing against hits 10 Story Weaver at one point. And I don't know how they hit it. I think it was just the branching out guy hit a story weaver plus one, so it was two story weaver, and then I don't know where the last spat comes from. Because story weaver ten is really hard to hit. Especially in a in a galaxy where it's not like it's not loot subscription. I couldn't hold on to this Annie. Yeah, it's probably better than Gnar. Gnar's not really doing anything. I have a random Gnar on my board for no reason. I had Gargoyle component, so I'm just going to play Gargoyle. I'm holding these Janas, and it kind of griefs that other guy who's playing Enter the Dragon, Janna reroll. But I'm not directly griefing him, right? I'm not holding these Janas to send him 8. If I hit a Janna 3, I will itemize the Janna because my last combat is Enter the Dragon because that's, that's all I really hit, right? Uh, I'm itemizing... Oh, I decided to switch. I found a Sivir, so I switched to my Janna, because I think my Janna was doing more damage anyways. Yeah, so I put Gwinsu on Janna. Gwinsu isn't even that good on Irelia as well. I think Irelia, her Biss item is red buff, and then like there's a lot of other random items that are good on her that are just usually like either for sustain or more damage. Yeah, so this was the guy... No, he's fine vintage. How did he get this extra emblem? He's not branching out. This is what I'm confused about. Where did he get this extra emblem? Was there an emblem on an early carousel that I missed? I want to go back for a second. There's no emblem here. Like, I don't remember hitting a prismatic orb. There's no emblem here, right? Yeah, it's not the branching out guy. I'm so confused. Where were we? I had just slammed Gwinsu. We were right here. Okay, so where did this guy get the extra emblem? Fine. That, that's fine vintage, right? He's fine vintage. Like, legitimately, where did he get the extra emblem? If someone knows in the comments, just let me know. I, I can't figure it out. I remember even during the game, I was confused. So this guy is one off of 10 Story Weaver. Oh, oops. My playlist ended and played the wrong there we go. let's go back to uh the vibe playlist no guilty gear today so this guy is one off of 10 story weaver spoiler like you know if you if you didn't look at the thumbnail he's probably hitting that which is which i think is the bigger problem in this game where it goes kind of nutty or off the rails uh here i'm debating do i when i level up uh, I'm thinking it's probably going to be a 5-1 just to like convert my items to an Irelia because I think it'll just be a little bit stronger and I can fit in the extra Dragon Lords. I could also roll on 8. Like I could have rolled on 8 for Galio, but I kind of committed to the fast 9 in this spot because I think it's just a little bit better. Sorry, I was stretching so I was a bit far away from my mic. Uh, but as you can see, I bled out, but my board's still kind of strong uh, with my synergies. This Janna board, like, it sometimes falls off and it does, like, zero damage. But a lot of the time, she's just really strong, right? So even here, I killed a bunch of units, right? I'm still number one in HP, just because, like, you know, without having to roll, I was just giga strong. Here I'm debating if I make the Diana or if I swap the items. Because I'm not going for Diana 3, so I w I'd rather put these items on, like, a Galio. So I just buy, I just buy sell. Uh, to swap the items. I put the items probably on Annie for now. Yeah, I think Annie's fine. And then I can put the Invoker on somebody else. Right. We're probably not going to play 4 Invoker because it doesn't really matter too much for this game. Right, especially if I'm playing around Aurelia. Uh, I get another Rod. That's great. Okay, so here, there's a Spat, right? Uh, I'm just debating. I probably sell Zyra. Yeah, I have Zyra 2. I'm not going for Zyra 3. Okay, so now I get a spat. This is this understand. So I get an extra Story Weaver spat, right? So it's like whatever. 
how did the other guy get a spat earlier? Because I didn't see a spat on Carousel. Was it just like a, uh, I guess it was like a gold orb drop. You can get a single spat from a gold orb. It had to have been a gold orb, right? I don't want to go back in the VOD because then I'm just making it needlessly wrong. But anyways, if it doesn't spoil you, the, there's a guy in the lobby now that's 10 story weaver. That's not me. There's another, there's another guy who's just 10 story weaver. So this is going to get really fucked up really fast. Right, this was kind of like a normal game where I'm just playing from like a really decent spot, right? I'm one off Janna 3. I'm just hoping I natural it or I just get the Janna, whatever. This is the other guy that's contesting the uh, the Janna line. He ended up not going for Janna 3 and instead he's playing like the uh, the Janna Zoe line. The one that I was talking about before, like the Janna Zoe Arcanus rolling on 8, uh, getting trying to hit like everybody else. I kind of don't care. I level here with 36 gold. Uh, the, the reason I leveled this turn... Oh, I just hit Janna 3. Let's go. One roll. Easy. Uh, so the reason I uh, I leveled was because it spikes me to 7 Story Weaver right now. And I kind of don't want to wait, if that makes sense. Uh, I still didn't notice at this point that somebody had uh, 10 Story Weaver. Because the guy that originally took Branching out didn't have a Story Weaver spat on his uh, dummy. So I didn't think anybody had an extra spat. I still don't know how that guy has one spat and nobody else in the lobby does. Because usually if there's like a gold orb drop, like multiple people get a spat, right? Unless he was just high roll. So just kind of like, whatever. Anyways, 7 story reaper is a huge spike because your Kale is basically your carry. I also just natural this Janna 3, so now my damage just went up like through the roof basically. Yeah, I might have a way too, but I kind of want an Irelia. I should maybe Donkey Roll for Irelia or at least something else. Um, debating who's better than Lee Sin. Because 5 Dragon Lord is a good spike, right? You can only get it with Spat. So I think it's a little bit better than like Altruist. But I'm not 100% sure on that. Altruist is pretty good as well. Uh, I'm playing 7 Story Weaver. Typically, you'd want to play uh, what I was saying before. Like, 7 Story Weaver is probably not as good as just like upgraded five story weaver five dragon lord right because you get like the altruist then starts to matter and other stuff but because all my units are one star and my only real damage is this uh like i have items on a sivir i'd rather just have kale do explosive damage right here this guy's just playing vertical ink shadow yeah Right, Drop, dropping to a five story weaver here doesn't really make sense because I don't have anybody to play over it. Right, I'm hold. I want to hold this Annie because I, I I think Annie's just a really good frontline unit. Yeah, and then uh, Carousel now. But if you look, I think it's the the guy. I don't even know if he hit ten story weaver yet. Is it the super shy guy? He got the Sivir now, and now he has ten story weaver. Yeah. So I really want an Aurelia. I take the BT because I'm just like I'll just put on Rakan or somebody. Uh, I'm thinking if I switch the Invoker emblem to the Rakan, but I think it's fine. I finally hit Aurelia, so I can get rid of the Sivir. And I'm just rolling because I just want to hit like some kind of upgrade. I saw the Gara and I put in the uh, the Galio just because I think it's a little bit better of a frontline unit. Yeah, now this guy, I think I finally look at his board and I'm like, wait a second. There's a lot of emblems on this board. Oh wait, no, this isn't even the guy. Right? Am I crazy? No, this guy has a bunch of emblems. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, this is the guy. Alright, anyways, he's not 10 Story Weaver yet, but like, now I'm looking. So I'm like, this guy, he's not 10 Mythic. I'm like, look at this guy, and I'm like, oh, he's 10 Story Weaver. Like, what the fuck? How? Because, like, in my head, I was like, there's only been two spats, right? But I guess it was a Gold Orb drop. 
Uh, yeah, so that guy won the lobby for free now. So I'm like, okay, that's cool. I guess I'll just, I'll just get second. But yeah, what a crazy game, right? Like, I'm going, I'm like, do I go Janna reroll? Then I don't go Janna reroll. Now I'm drag, now I'm five Dragon Lord, seven Story Weaver. I just dropped all Truest, right? Three Bruiser. I'm 21 gold on level nine. I'm trying to figure out my life. Right, but now that there's a 10 story weaver, I'm just gonna donkey roll on 9 for the rest of the game, probably. Oh no, I lost this one? Okay, that's fine. Bard 3, Tom Kench 3, Radiant Winsu on Bard. Uh, yeah, I'm just I'm just sending it every turn. Right, I wanna upgrade uh, Rakan, I wanna upgrade Lee Sin, I wanna upgrade Irelia, and this is just my board. Um, I'm, I think Zoe, you can replace Zoe with like Sivir just to get some more attack speed on somebody. But I, I'm still confused. I think it was just a gold orb drop, right? It just had to have been. But like, what the fuck is that? If you haven't seen 10 Story Weaver, we'll watch it in this game. It's pretty exciting. Uh, Probably TG, right? Oh! Okay, yeah. Well, I guess that's good on Rakan as well, yeah. Okay, Irelia. Lee Sin, Aurelia 2, let's go. Lee Sin 2, let's go. We just need some Rakans in this house. And I'm just debating, okay, make 10, yeah. Because I can roll for Rakan after. I'm trying to figure out some placement. Let's put the Zyra on the far edge so she can bait something out if I have to. Yeah, this guy's pretty strong with... Uh, Ink Shadow and uh, Ghostly, but I think I just have way too much everything, right? I'm 7 Story Weaver with 5 Dragon Lord, right? This is like a winning board in most lobbies. It doesn't even matter, because uh, I also have Janna 3, right? So this is like what I mean by like if you natural bunch of Jannas, it can just work out, right? Like I could have rolled for Janna earlier and like capped my board at 8, which is what you would usually do in a spot like this, but because I was contested, um, I decided to just go 9. I think both work, right? Both work fine. Um, you know, you might I might have never hit this Janna 3 on 9, though, is the thing. So usually, like, you know, if you're in a spot like that earlier in the game, you just want to, like, hit the Janna and then go and guarantee your top 4. But yeah, I'm up against 10 Story Weaver. This should be a close fight, right? Ready? Get ready. Uh, yeah, it was really close. Uh, I think I killed uh, I almost killed a unit <laughs> I, I almost killed I almost killed a unit, you know, that was pretty good Right look at that ZZ rot. I almost killed the ZZ rot <laughs> That's ridiculous, but you know, I'm not I, I kind of high rolled this game anyways, right? I'm not, I was I wasn't even upset at this point in the game. I was just like I just you know that's fine, right? This is this wasn't like you know that's TFT, but these are fun games of TFT, right? That guy was uh, like he wasn't even he was fine vintage story weaver. He wasn't even in a position where he was going like eighth. You know what I mean? Like he was going top four anyways. It's just instead of going first now with my reroll that I high rolled, I probably just go second, right? So I'm not too upset, right? It's like eh, you know. That's TFT, right? Like his variance just went from him being like maybe like a top four. He could have even beat me. He might have even beat me with fine vintage on level nine with like uh, Wukong two. He might have even beat my board anyways. So I'm like, ah, you know, like I went from like a guaranteed one two to like a guaranteed two. Anyways, what's that I see? Is that a Story Weaver emblem on my side? All right. Who am I missing? I'm missing a Garen. I just need a Garen. <laughs> Cause guess what? It's gonna be 10 Story Weaver v 10 Story Weaver. I'm just rolling for Garen. I'm rolling, I'm rolling, I'm rolling. I don't care about any of this shit. All right, all right, and... Garen, Garen. Come on, and... Garen. Cause I'm holding the Sivir, right? Oh, wait. Okay, server's on my board. Server's on my board. Uh, I'm selling some units. I found a Garen. I found a Garen.
Uh, this is the awkward moment where I don't know what to do. Okay, so. For those that don't know, 10 Story Weaver, you need to fit in 10 units. But I have a dummy, so you can fit 10 Story Weaver on 9, right? You're gonna watch a man panic in real life. Because I cannot figure this out for the life of me. <laughs> Guys, do you see what the problem is? <laughs> oh no. Oh, this is so embarrassing to watch. Oh no, no, that's not it. No, he had an emblem. I'm so confused. <laughs> I figured it out. All right. <laughs> we'll talk about it after. I'll let the, let the fight play. <laughs> uh. And then this bugged, yeah. So there's two big problems here. Um, I think I lose anyways. I think I lost no matter what, right? So I lost this battle, obviously. I did fit in 10 Story Weaver, so it was pretty funny. So here's the problem. So I'm, I, I thought, for some reason, I thought I was 10. Um, and I wasn't level 9. If you're level 9, every one of your units has to be Story Weaver. So that means that the Janna, here I can circle it, the Janna right here, uh, has to have a story weaver emblem. She has three items on her, so I can't put a story weaver emblem on her. So I have to sell the Janna, right? So I'm kind of like selling my board, trying to figure out why I can't fit in ten story weaver. Uh, it's it's because I have to get rid of the Janna, right? But the Janna is all my items and all my damage besides the Kale. Um, also, there's this thing with Kale. I don't know if it's a bug or if it's intentional, but you see, like, watch me when I tech in ten story weaver. So you see how I click and it doesn't immediately happen? I actually clicked it like three times or so. Like I know I moved my mouse a little bit, but it does happen normally with all Kale things. It's like there's like a second delay from when you can click it, right? It's the same with like some of the some of the encounters as well. And that kind of seals the deal. But basically, if you look at our boards, it just comes down to like RNG almost at this point. But the thing is, the other guy just has more units because he has all the ZZ rods. So even though my Kale, like there was maybe a positioning where my Kale kills his Kale before his Kale kills my Kale, but I wasn't going to win that anyways because he just has way more units on the board and the Kale is kind of shooting around at all the units. So it was just, it was just chalked, but it was fun at least. We both hit 10 Story Weaver. That's a tuber, right? That's a fun one. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed it. I gave a little bit of thought process with Janna reroll and all of that whole line and how that works out. Uh, but it was also a really fun game because, like, you know, I kind of high rolled, that guy kind of high rolled. It was pretty cool. Anyways, uh, see you next time. Hopefully, we'll see some more uh, Janna videos on this channel because it's one of my favorite comps. <laughs>